So, oh, uh, stop. No, I actually, I think so, man. I mean... Yeah, th they were all cheering for you. Where's comrade? Where's comrade? For some, I'm like, who the fuck is this guy? They're all I, I, I calling for him. Nah. <laughs> you're really actually gonna? Why are you quitting? Like, I don't understand actually. Well, I mean, there there are a few reasons. That was one of them. The the biggest thing is that I don't care to change or improve my commentating like I once did, and that's also a bad sign and I feel like if I were to just continue commentating then it would I would say more unprofessional things and that's really bad for the tournament so it's you know it's best that I just stop before I say something really dumb because trust me bef before I started commentating I said a lot of really dumb stuff that I still stand by to this day but it's not good for a commentator to be saying those things I don't know man I feel like if you actually made a poll who would you want out of Riles and Conrad? I feel like <laughs> I would win by far, man. I it's, would dominate you. <laughs> it would be like 99% me, and uh, it would want me out, and 1% would want you out, man. It's because of the, you know, fans type of thing and their their loyalty. But I'm, I'm sure if you were to go back and watch, like, my commentating a year ago versus my commentating now, like, a year ago I knew everything that was going to happen before it happened, and that's why... I'm, Everyone liked it, but now I have no idea what's going on. All I know is who's going to win the arena, and that's just because of the classes and Mr. Pandaria PvP balance and all that kind of stuff. I feel like you're doing great, man. I feel like you're doing amazing, and I feel like you can stay, but... <laughs> I, really, I really don't want this to turn into like a, an emo or like sad thing or where people are just throwing compliments at me to try and get me to stay because I promise I'm not going to stay. Rest I promise peace, today's my on. last day. And you got peace. the evil yeah. eye. That's why. <laughs> I don't know what the evil eye is. <laughs> the evil eye is like something like hate, you know, just like jealousy or a hate or something catches you and you know does bad things to you, you know, like yeah, makes exactly. you lose a game or makes you lose your job or makes you <laughs> say you got a nice car and people are like watching it ugly with the evil eye and maybe you crash it or something like that, you know. That's called the yeah. evil eye, and yeah. that's exactly what's happening to you. I mean, you're amazing and people are jealous and. <laughs> No. The evil eye catches it's, you, big time. It's okay, my friends. Fear not. <coughs> I will be just fine. You guys will be just fine. You guys have some some good backups for commentators, Riles. I'm sure you'll you'll turn into an outstanding, beautiful flower, just like Ming used to say. Wow. You'll Dude. blossom into a beautiful flower. That's what he used That's to say. That's warms uh, old heart, man. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I feel like we're gonna need you here. This is the last day or last tournament? Last day. Whoa. Like, I don't even want to finish, the finish out the tournament, man. I was, I was talking to Isaac and I was just like, dude, I don't think I can do this anymore. It's just, like, my, my favorite time commentating nowadays is when there's downtime and I'm not actually commentating. And I'm just bullshitting around in the, you know, while we wait for teams to get ready and stuff like that. And that is, that speaks a lot about my opinion of the game and stuff like that. And again, I know there's a lot of you that are saying I'm like going emo or rage quitting or something like that. There was one guy yesterday who said uh, Connor called Hydro a baby and now he's babying out. It's like, no, man, it's, it, it's, it's not babying out. I mean, you, you can think that if you want. I don't really care, but it's you, you got to do what's right for you and what's most fun for you because what's, what's life if you're always trying to make other people happy? You know, you, you got you to gotta look out for numero uno sometimes. I agree. I mean, you you really shouldn't like worry about what people thinks about uh, think about you in real life or in game or anything. I mean, you should do what makes you happy. And mm -hmm. we're having the ready check ready here, so here comes the first bans and picks. So I feel like they're gonna ban the shadow priest again, cause if they actually play against the same comp, force them, um, I, they can easily actually force them into the same comp they played against. So yeah. Oh, they're banning the rest of Shaman there. Interesting. Hmm. I don't know if I like that. I. I like the idea of banning the DPS and forcing them to run that awful comp. I really feel like that was a smart idea, but, you know, it's okay. Affliction will like being banned out too, so Aromat will not be playing Affliction this game. Yeah, but I feel like the FMP is just going to come in, and it's actually a really, really strong comp, and still, without the... Look at the healers they have. I don't know if actually the, um, the Boomkin is as good with the uh, Rested Druid as he is with Boomkin, or if it's just something he listed up. 
But uh, we'll see, man. Because like, uh, if he's not, I mean, I don't see like any really decent comp still being viable for them. Yeah, I'm not sure either, man. Because what uh, they have listed, I mean, doesn't make sense to me. I mean, they could play God Comp if actually Shaman was good on Mage, but I mean, I playing a top level Shaman and a Mage, uh, it doesn't make sense to me, so I actually doubt he's actually really good on Mage. Maybe I'm wrong, but we'll, we're about to see. But if they actually could play that comp, I would play God Comp, because it's actually an amazing comp right now. And they're going to pick the Boomkin again, so. Again, like. And this Why do they like the Boomkin? I don't know, I what feel they, like they just. What do they have think they're going to run? Like, Boomkin uh, first pick? Yeah. I would pick Shadow Priest, man. I would pick Shadow Priest or Mage. Shadow Priest oh, or I guess they could have a Mage. But now I would just ban the Mage. And I feel like they wouldn't have a good comp if I banned the Mage now. Uh, you know, Shadow Priest, like, that's not a lot of finishing power. Yeah, but actually, on, when, on uh, I mean, team. I wouldn't worry about Boomkin Mage as well. I mean, it's not a strong comp. I played a bit and it's not actually that strong. I feel like Shadow Priest, Boomkin is even more, I mean, more annoying because they just won't die. That's the annoying part. So, I mean, I would just pick like I would just ban actually Shadow Priest right now, and I would play against an easy comp. I could win easily, and I could finish them off easy. And they're banning the DK here, so I feel like the Shadow Priest Boomkin is gonna come out uh, with um, Disc Priest or Holy Pally. I'm not sure, but we're about to see. And uh, cool story is banning the Elemental Shaman, so this is gonna be interesting. Yeah, I think you're right. I think we are gonna see the Shadow Priest coming out. Uh, but maybe maybe FMP once again. I think, or, I think so. Yeah. And I mean, it's a really strong comp. Yep, there's a mage. I would be shocked if it wasn't a feral. Shadow Priest, like you suggested. So now what are they going to have heal them? The Resto Druid, I guess? No, he's playing Boomkin. He's the Boomkin. Oh, so. you can't even do that. It's Holy Paladin, unless they want to double I mean, up. No matter what they play, I feel like he's going to be easy for the FMP. I mean, there's no tremors yeah. and... Maybe if the, if he's actually as good as this priest as he is shaman, it's gonna be something. But I mean, double priest is not viable, so it's gonna be paladin. And paladin versus FMP man, uh, don't think so. I mean, he's gonna go down. <laughs> they can easily just get there. There's no tremors, and they can just easily fear and just deep freeze him, and it's gonna be game. And there's gonna be clones, and there's gonna be cyclones from the priest to follow up. I mean, it's gonna be endless, unless you see on the DPS there's while they go on the paladin. And DK Mage. Wow, this is interesting, man. Hmm. I don't know if I like this. You have the option of using the Feral. Why not use the Feral? Why use the DK? I guess, I don't know. I feel like the Death Knight's going to be much easier to kill against this team, too. And the Feral would stop a lot of the pressure coming out. Like, if when the Shadow Priest is uh, using Insanity, you can actually just use every clone on him, and you will never have to worry about dying. And there's going to be double priest too. So everyone is drunk. Everyone's getting <laughs> wasted. Yeah, I mean, I would pick, I would, I would pick actually Feral Druid when I was if I was sniffing from the beach. I would say, it. guys, FMP is amazing. Uh, DK actually can die to Swalcom easily. I mean, a silence into him, one silence into the priest, any CC, the DK drops man. AMS doesn't do anything these days. I mean, playing versus DK, you just you do one two any damage and it's it's gone. It doesn't absorb anything these days, so... I mean, maybe the cleave damage is good. We'll see, man. And again, yeah. a double priest boomkin? <laughs> doesn't make sense, because they can't actually have sh double shields, man. So this is also going to be really bad. I mean, the Shadow Priest hybrid skills is not going to come in handy. This is yeah, uh, not exactly. what I agree to, man. Uh, yeah, and if the Shadow Priest, like freaks out and shields himself or something, that's a much weaker shield than if it was a Disc Priest shielding himself. Or if he shields a Moonkin, so... Uh, I don't... I don't know. Also, though, the fact that they picked an Unholy DK when there's gonna be a Shadow Priest and a Disc Priest on the other... I guess the Unholy DK was chosen at the same time as a Disc Priest, right? I would've chosen something with more single target pressure because the Palms are gonna be bouncing around, so, but uh, like I said, I guess I didn't know that at the, the time, but... Well, even Holy Paladin would be better in this Priest at this moment, because Shadow Priest, I mean, off the uh, pumps and stuff like that, I mean, shields are going to be useless here. So, I think they're just, again, running a really bad comp here. Even if the Nathan from the Peach, the Beach picked it like a less over power overpowered comp, they're still going to be able to take this, because Cool Story doesn't really have a decent comp at all. Mm. Maybe they're going to be able to, like, actually being 
uh, push uh, a lot of CC onto the priest and kill the DK. Uh, we're about to see, but still, uh, I don't agree. I don't agree at all either. I think it's weird. I don't know. But let's 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 see what happens. Maybe they'll surprise us. Maybe they'll actually just kill everyone with their insane double priest moonkin strategy. <laughs> Yeah. But I, I highly doubt it. I mean, it's Russia, man. Russia's drunk special tactics, man. They were probably drunk and they were like, Hey, why don't we go into this tournament? We can play double boom, double priest booking. Let's do this. And I mean, maybe Nathan from the beach as well drinks a lot of vodka and picked a DK over Feral. I mean, Feral is too OP, man. I would never go for <laughs> Feral, that's all. I'm not a big fan of vodka myself, man. And I know that there are a lot of Russians watching that are gonna hate me for saying that. I think vodka's I think vodka's okay. I think it's better than beer, but I'm all about tequila. All about tequila. What about you? Uh, I like oh, wait, beer, how old man. are you? I'm 18. 18. But I can drink. It's uh, EU, man. In okay. EU, you can drink when you're 18. 18. Yeah. I wasn't sure if I was like asking a 16-year-old what <laughs> he likes to drink. <laughs> wow. Or something like that. I don't know, man. Uh, wait, sure wait, uh, Conrad. Speaking of actually v vodka and all this uh, drink stuff mm -hmm. about the Russians, uh, Svetlana actually once uh, sent to me on Skype. He said, "Car needs petrol. Russian needs alcohol." <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it was like that back in the day because um, it's also cold in Russia, and they were actually drinking vodka to actually keep themselves warm. Oh. You're on it, man. I don't have it bind in here. I don't have daggers here. No, I'm killing it. Mm. You're getting healed from the priest on your team, I'm hitting me. It's I'm gonna, BS. Uh, I'm doing 44 uh, hits, man. You're gonna die before me, no matter what. And we're having you a really one battle here. Conrad time. isn't dropping low here. He's in 100k HP. Dropping below 100k HP. <laughs> And he's gonna take heavy damage here. He's spiking on 30% HP, 20% HP, comes to gouge on me. But it's not gonna matter. He's just gonna drop down like <laughs> a rat. And I win this. GG. Uh. <laughs> I like how the disc priests were healing us the yeah. entire game. Nah, nah, I had it. It was easy. I played you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I need to fix my frames. Where is... okay, less X. Alright. So I am good to go. I'm not good to go. I actually spaced out, I didn't realize we changed comps and stuff, so... I need to add people. And uh, I need to add the DK. There we go. And I need to add people from there. There we go. So I'm ready. Me too, me too. I'm gonna follow the cool story if that's the team. No, yeah. So the strategy I think for now is going to be for the Death Knight Mage team to sort of tunnel into the, the Shadow Priest. It's going to stop a lot of the pressure coming out from them. Additionally, it's going to I mean, he's not going to be getting as many dots out and all that kind of stuff. Uh, if you tunnel into the Moonkin, I still feel like he's able to do a decent amount. But, uh, wow, they're actually doing big bursts into Apparat already. Look at him. He's already down to 50%. He's going to... Si he's silenced. He's hanging out behind the pillar. The Shadow Fiend was already... Yeah, but look at the same time, man. The Shadow Priest, they're dropping really low, 20%. This uh, PS comes in, triple quadrus, the Arch Sheep, and... and he has to actually disperse with PS. I feel like that was the overlap. He should just ask for some offfields or something. And they actually popped harder wild as well. They used every huge CD man they had. And I don't agree with this at all. Because any CC, when they force the trinket of Shaman X, I mean, he's just going to go down. And yeah, here comes heavy pressure again. This DK just sitting on the Shadow Priest, as you said. I mean, <laughs> here comes the Palm Sheep. And he trinkets that. I feel like he's going to come in with another Palm DR. But here comes the swap. And there was a Sheep on that one. He's going to get healed back up, even though they could have swapped on him. That's a bit unlucky there, but they're going to be fine for now. But I feel like Cool Story is doomed here. They have nothing, actually, right now. They have uh, no trinket on the healer and no CDs. No. Uh, Hotter Wild, no dispersion, no PS. I feel like next swap, they're gonna next CC on Shamran, they're gonna be going down. Yeah, and the big thing is that they overlapped all three of those. There's another tr uh, root beam onto our Dispriest of Apparat, 
but I feel like he's just going to be able to pick himself up behind a pillar. He's in a silence right now, but with his health going down, he's going to be just fine. There's a Holy Bolor coming out. There's a Deep Freeze, though, onto Shaman EXP. He goes from a Deep Freeze into a Polymorph. Can they get something out of that? He does get MD'd out by a Shadow Priest of Iltrafin. Uh, Cyclone goes out onto Less X, trying to stop some of the pressure. They really need to start hitting the Shadow Priest again, I feel like, especially because he's Oom now, so you can stop the VTs coming out. And he won't yeah, be getting I mean, near he got to actually invert it as well to get some mana. I mean, he was sold on mana. But he's about to get actually this version back soon. But they're hitting the Boomkin right now, and he's in a little bit trouble. Here comes the Cleaborb in, man, and they're actually swapping on Shamarin, and he's on 50% here. Is there going to be any stuns here? Here comes the Fix It onto Iron Monster. I feel like he's going to go down here if this goes, doesn't come in any huge offhills or something. But he's on 50%, and here comes the Gnost Stun from the DK. But he's actually going to be able to catch himself up. Here comes the. Uh, and he's gonna be actually on 50%. Here's the sheep and the shadow priest, and he's gonna be dispelled off immediately. Good job by Shamrin to actually let a freedom from the CC. Yeah, but now look at Apparat's mana. Apparat and Shamaner XP are both very low on mana. Apparat was a little bit lower just a little bit earlier. But Ascooch down to 63% health. They're going to throw a counter spell out onto the Shadow Priest. He's actually going to trinket that and immediately get put into a Polymorph, but it did get dispelled very quickly by Shamaner XP. Cyclone being cast. It is onto the Death Knight. Death Knight unable to stack the Necrotics like he would like to, and it actually yeah, did but look at Shamaner, he's freeze. really low. Any more CC and he's going to go down. He's on 15% HP. Are they going to be able to do anything more? I mean, here comes a Holy Fire scene. They're just really low. Looking for that kill, but not enough CC. But here, the boom can at all at the same time is really low. I mean, they they can't do anything. I feel like every shop they went and did an apparat. I mean, he didn't even trinket them, so I feel like he, that's all they have, and they not managing to kill with that. And when this team is actually doing so much with just going in, pressuring, I mean, I feel like this is game, man. I feel like they can't come back from this. And because of fix it, he's on 40%. At the same time, the boomkin on 60%. I mean, uh, at the same time, Shadow Priest on the low mana. He's on 10%. He spikes a lot, man. He takes some huge shatters here. I mean, Fakey at the same time, dropping a 60%, uh, full cycle on Apparat. So he's going to be a little bit trouble here. Maybe he's going to look for a, a clone here. He goes a tree orb DP on Fakey. He's going to be a little bit trouble, but Apparat is going to be able to take him out. But look at... Look at cool story, man. They're all on 40%. They're all low in mana. They're all, here comes the PS. He's on 30% HP. And you see, see, here comes the offensive AMS. I mean, he's just gonna look for that kill. Here comes the IB as well. I spent 42. Here comes the defreeze on 50%. And he's gonna go down. Yeah, so already a rough start in the second best of three. Now, I don't see that this, uh, I don't see this Dis Priest, Shadow Priest, Moonkin team pull another win through here. I think this is gonna be a nice, clean 2 0 for Fake U, Less X, and Apparat. I agree with you, man. Uh, they, they, they did a really good job that game. Viable. I mean, even on ladder or anything, I mean, that comp can't actually compete. I, I, I wouldn't imagine actually any real comp to lose against that. Mm -hmm. and I feel like this is just gonna be stomp. I mean, Shadow Priest, this Priest. I mean, you saw they actually they did actually a really good swap on Apparat, but Apparat, but I mean, that's all they had, and they didn't enforce anything from him. When he, I when don't he actually... used trinkets and stuff, it was just like offensive. I have no idea how they actually put so much burst out on him instantly. Maybe, maybe the Shadow Priest accidentally had orbs from killing us or something like that. Because that was that was a lot of pressure very quickly. I was not expecting that whatsoever. Yeah, from I this guess we're team. gonna keep uh, eyes out for that. Little snakes. Yeah. No, I'm joking. No, I, I mean I, I'm not I'm not accusing them. I'm saying maybe it's a possibility that they accidentally did that. There are, there are three conditions there. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> so. Uh, you know, ne next game I will keep an eye on it and make sure because I'm sure they weren't expecting that kind of burst either at the very beginning. But nonetheless, I think it's I think it's GG for this team. In the meantime, guys, if you want to tweet at us, he is at RylesWow. I am at ComradeNAO. If you want to tweet at us fun things for us to uh, say in between, yeah, and if you actually have any uh, anticipation or something about the games, uh, maybe about Team EG, uh, who's going to take it there, so the big favorite of the US, I feel like. Yeah, for sure, especially because of the the games from second place yesterday where they were basically down an entire player and the other teams were able to ban whatever they wanted. Uh, that had to have been pretty rough for them. But yeah, I agree. It does happen. And there were still some pretty good games anyway. Yeah, I mean... Uh, I wasn't actually there, but I watched the woods, and uh, it was really intense, man. It was really good games. Yeah. Man, someone tweeted at me, like, a billion Would You Rathers yesterday, and I went back, and I'm trying to find them, and I think he deleted them. But a lot of them are really good. 
I'm pissed. We can't find him. Oh, I got a tweet 20 hours ago. Can you describe to us how you will destroy the evil that is Darth Bannock next year? Hashtag fat nubs. Hashtag 10 man rating. Hashtag man love rules. <laughs> right, so if anyone's wondering what that means, it's because my 10 man guild transferred to another server and we basically sold server first uh, to a single player in the guild fat nubs and Darth Bannock. Bannock is a leader of another guild on that server that was going to get server first, but we really dislike Bannock, so we stole it from him. And next year we're going to steal it from him again, but we're going to find 15 other players to make sure that he doesn't get server first, because we don't like him. <laughs> that competitive PvP, PvE coming in from Conrad, man. <sighs> Dude, it's fun. It's actually so fun. If you guys haven't tried PvE, I say this every time, but if you haven't tried PvE at this expansion, just try it. Get like eight friends and one random person to carry you, and go into the newest raid tier, and you will just have the most amount of fun. That's the highlight of my week, but it only lasts for three hours because my guild's too good. Hashtag first world problems. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I used to PvE back in TVC. It wasn't much, but I had a lot of fun then. But, uh... Yeah. Uh, I gave you like, the mighty PvP. You're like 13 or something. I was 12, man. 12 or 11. Jeez. Yeah. It's like, no, I, I can't, I can't raid tonight, guys. I got a bedtime. Most Sorry. Like mom was like, you can't play now, and I was like, mom, please, one more hour. <laughs> 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 and here comes the jokes. We're about to go in into the second game. Of the bleach bones, uh, day three and week two, and this is Nathan from the beach match point here, for, uh, and they're gonna have to actually win a lot in a row to actually be able to come back from this. They're about to go in here, and yeah, here comes the solar beam instantly in apparat, but they're not doing anything with it. I mean, the pressure is turning around on them. The NS is coming in, NS clone on Apparat, and DK is taking so much damage, he spikes down 30%, AMS comes down, he, co he gets, uh, and Apparat gets disrupting Roar on his actually in, uh, inner focus, and he gets DR cloned, and I feel like the DK is just gonna die here, and he was on 9%, and nice, life sub comes in, and they can maybe tr try to turn things on Apparat, but he's kinda line sliding, and he's gonna get dotted much, but wow, what a pressure, when maybe you underestimated his team too much. Uh, that's that's scariness right there. Apparat caught inside of a full fear right now. The Ultra Fan is going to be able to dot up anyone he pleases, but he does get polymorphed, and then he's going to get uh, changed right there. The Dispel did get used on him, though. Askish now at 28% health, taking big fire. He does use Heart of the Wild, uses Mana Ursok as well. He actually hasn't healed himself with Heart of the Wild at all. There's a rejuve, rebuffing himself so that way he can't get dispelled either. Flash heals being pumped into him. He should be fine for now. Heart of the Wild is an extremely important cooldown. Ultra Fan down at 65% health. They are going to swap over onto him. Now, there's a root beam going out onto Apparat, and now is the time for them to go out onto this Death Apparat is actually out of that route, but he stayed inside of the beam a little bit longer than he had to. Maybe he wasn't sure or something like but that. Thank you, man. Spiking to 40%. I mean, that was some heavy damage coming in. But at the same time, I feel like they're going to sustain it. He has no CC on Apparat is available right now. But he's ag again fake. He's playing with that Frostbomb, which I disagree with. I mean, it's so hard to actually line up those things. But I mean, no Shaman, no, not like Million Interrupts. But again, like Living Bomb, you just... You just go in and pump that DPS, man. It's so much more easier. But again, Cyclone Apparat, but uh, MDK to AMS. But here comes the triple CC, man, from Nathan from the beach. Full sheep on the Shamra next. Here comes the Boomkin at 50%, 10% is gonna go down. And this is match point, and this is the game for Nathan from the beach. Good job by them, man. That triple CC, unexpected, just instantly came in and finished game off, man. What you gotta say? Did you see that CC I... coming in? I... I am impressed by the CC chain that they were able to put out. I thought that was good, but, you know, I really feel like our Double Priest Moonkin team, and I can't believe I'm actually saying Double Priest Moonkin team, I really feel like our Double Priest Moonkin team just needs to better coordinate the defensive cooldowns that they're using, because I feel like every game, multiple cooldowns were used at once. In the last game, even, it was the Druid himself did Heart of the Wild and then Mine of Ursoc, and he didn't heal himself at all uh, for, like, five globals. If he would have just used Heart of the Wild and then Nature Swiftness healing touched himself, I feel like he would have been completely fine. Uh, and then, you know, he could have used Mine of Ursoc at the very end there, right before he died, and the game would have gone on for a little bit longer time, but I don't want to bash him too much. I understand that 
you know, they probably weren't expecting to run that kind of comp whatsoever. Uh, but, you know, the rough thing is that now that people have seen them run that comp, they know that if you ban certain classes out from them, they're going to run that comp. Yeah. And that's a really scary thing. I mean, I thought the DK team was going to be weaker, actually, but I feel like it does the same level, man. I mean, it does so much damage, and fake you and Apparat, the Phenomenon, actually, uh, saying it right. <laughs> it was amazing. Click the scoreboard. Yeah. yeah. So, I'm not actually sure who's going, going to be coming up next, but I really hope it's Team EG. I want to see them battle. I really want to see them battle. I got a tweet. What if you don't have friends, Kappa? If you if you don't type Kappa outside of Twitch chat, you're probably going to have a higher chance of getting friends. Boom. Roasted. Is your guild recruiting? Yes, my guild is recruiting. We need a mage for 540 item level minimum. We raid three nights a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, starting at 8 Eastern. We are the number one three night a week guild in the world. We are world top 50 with only 12 hours per week. And it's a very hostile environment, so if you don't like being made fun of, if you don't like being critiqued, don't bother. <coughs> I wish I if could join my but I'm a little kid and once you go to bed early, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I feel you. Nah, I'm joking. I'm you. I wouldn't join. If you had to... were noobs. <laughs> I got a good question. If you had to, would you rather PvE and Mop or PvP and Wrath Kata for the rest of your life? Uh, if mob continues like this, I would actually rather PvE, because right now, I think I'm having more fun mob PvE than I was in Kata PvP, and I actually really like Kata PvP. And as hell is referring me, Conrad, no one wants to join your shitty guild. <laughs> well, he's being a bit harsh here. I feel like, I think a lot of people want to join a guild, man. I think you're man, a actually, good advice. Fun fact, Azale. Everyone wants to join my, quote, shitty, unquote, guild, because, fun fact, we have the most impressive kill counts for time spent on bosses. So, fuck you, Zale, I hope you lose! <laughs> Conrad's so unprofessional, I can't believe he said that. Okay. 